Hi guys, this is Nick and in this video we will discuss about how you can restore the databases to point of failure which is also known as full recovery. But before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button uh, which is coming below my video and right next to it there is a bell icon, click on that and select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. And before we proceed ahead there, uh, I would uh, request you guys to go through these points uh, which uh, have to be remembered. So I would request you guys to watch all the videos till the end to gain better clarity of the concept uh, or the complete concept. If possible, I would request you guys to please watch my video twice to get better understanding. And I would also request you guys to do exercises in your lab environment uh, running SQL Server. And we would like to know your thoughts regarding our video, so please share your comments on my video. And uh, also share your story uh, regarding any real situations where you have uh, practically used the content uh, which are inside my videos. So we would love to hear your stories. Um, let's come back to the topic, so which is restoring databases to the point of failure. Um, let's go back to notes. Uh, here we will going through demo 7 which is restoring databases to point of failure or uh, also known as full recovery. Let's go inside SQL Server. So here we will show you how you can uh, restore the databases to point of failure. So we have a Northwind database. Here we will use the Northwind database. And right now if we take a look uh, the about the recovery model, uh, the recovery model is set to under the options you can see the recovery model. The recovery model is currently set to simple recovery model. We need to change it back to the full recovery model because we will take transaction log backups as well. So let's straightforward go ahead uh, to the practical. So let me delete the backup file which we had taken in the earlier videos. Let me delete that. So we have an Northwind database without any backup at the moment. So let me go ahead and straightforward go through the practical. So first of all, uh, we need to make sure that uh, our databases are using the full or bulk log re recovery model. So Northwind right now is using a simple recovery model, so we will change the recovery model of this Northwind database. So along with me, you can type certain SQL statements. So the recovery model of Northwind is right now simple. Uh, let me show you once again. So go, go to the database properties and go to the options tab and here you will see the recovery model which is currently set to simple. So we will change the recovery model through T SQL statements. So in order to, first of all you need to be in the master database so run the use master database statement to utilize this database. Uh, okay, so let's execute that. So we are now in the master database and we want to change the recovery model, so along with me type the following statement to alter the database uh, recovery model. So you need to use the alter database statement and you need to specify the name of the database which is Northwind. And we need to set the recovery model, uh, we need to specify the set recovery clause to full. So let's execute this statement uh, to change the recovery model. So right now the recovery model of Northwind database is set to full recovery model, you can check it by the properties. Uh, expand this section and go to the option section. Now here we will see that recovery model is full. You can do that through T SQL statement. You need to run these statements. I hope you are following along with me. So next what we will do, we will take a full database backup of this Northwind database. So in order to do that, I will run the backup database statement and specify the name of the database which is Northwind and we won't uh, specify the location where you want to take the database backup. We, we are taking it on disk and we will specify the default backup location which is this. And we need to specify the name of the file so we are taking Northwind back as the database backup file name. So uh, let's terminate with semicolon and execute this statement. So database backup file is created. You can check this folder. So a backup file is created over here. Now what we will do, we have taken the full database backup and now what we will do, we will take a backup of the transaction log. Let's do some transaction, 
let's do some transaction before that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking certain rows out of uh, the table. Let's take customer ID this and I will update the country of this uh, customer ID to Germany. Let's do that. So in order to do that, you need to update the table, which is customers. And you need to set the column, which is country. And here we are specifying uh, US as the country name. And we are specifying the wear condition. So wear condition is necessary because we do not want to update the data for all the rows, but just for specific customer ID. So we need to specify the customer ID in the where uh, clause. So we are updating it for customer ID LFKI. So let's execute this and we can also do a select statement against this database, which is customers. So let's do select star from customers. All right, and we can specify where customer ID is this and we can select the data. So right now country is changed to US. So we have executed one of the transactions. So let's go ahead and now back up the transaction log. So you need to do backup and instead of database, you need to specify log as we are taking the backup of the log file. So you need to specify the database for which we are taking the log backup. Uh, so database is not found. And where do you want to take the backup? You can specify the location. And we can take the log backup inside the same file, but uh, in this case, we are using a separate file to take log backup. So instead, uh, I'm specifying with underscore log to take a log backup. So a new file will be created. Let's do that and log backup is created in a separate file. So not when log contains the log backup. Now uh, we have taken the backup of the files. Now we will write some statement that will restore the backups uh, that are just created. And so we have taken log backup. Now what we'll do? We will do resource. So along with me type the following statement. So let's do a database restore. So how we will do restore? We will restore the full database backup first. So before that, let me quickly delete this database. Although there is no compulsion to delete this database, but let me go ahead and delete the database. I'm closing any existing connections to it. Um, so let's wait to. So this database is now deleted, although there, there is no compulsion to delete the database. So I'm restoring the database and you need to specify the name of the database where you want to restore the database backup from file. And you need to specify the from disk option. So first we are restoring a full database backup, which is inside this file. So do that. And we need to specify the with no recovery option here because we are not fully recovering the database. Additional backup has to be restored in order to fully recover the database. So we are putting the database in recovery mode after restoring the full database backup. So we are executing these statements. Let's execute it. Uh, let's see what issue do we have here. I think uh, we are good. Uh, let me try again. So we we are restoring Northwind back file with no recovery. Okay, the issue is that we have put semicolon over here, which shouldn't be there. So now let's execute the statement. So we see Northwind database, full database backup is restored, but the database should be in recovery state right now, recovering or restoring state right now. So we cannot access the database at the moment. So until unless we restore the log backups with the recover option, it will not be, uh, this database will not become useful. Uh, right now we cannot use this database. So now we will re uh, restore the log. So in order to restore the log, type restore log statement and restore inside the Northwind database. Specify the path for the log backup file, which is this and remove the semicolon. We had not done this previously. So not to disk, but uh, from disk should be the option uh, because we are restoring the backup from the disk. And 
we are specifying the with the recovery option this time because we want to full, uh, fully recover the database. So let's execute this statement. This will uh, restore the log backup and uh, put the database into ready mode. Let's execute that. So now it will, uh, the restoring will get removed and the database is now ready. You can refresh that and see. Now the database is ready and you can select data out of tables. And uh, we can we can execute this statement to check uh, if we still have that uh, US as a statement under the country, uh, US uh, value under the country for this customer. Yeah, it's intact. So yeah, we have restored the database, full database backup, a log database backup. We have restored both. And we have shown you how you can use the no recovery and recovery option. So guys, we are done with this video. I hope you understood this concept and I hope you like this video. If you really like it, hit on the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and do share your comments. Share this video with your friends in case you find this useful, find this video useful. And if you think uh, this video would be useful for your friends as well, please share it with them. And also uh, click on the bell icon, select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. I thank you so much for your time on this video today and you have a wonderful day ahead.